So in today's Stormworks episode, we are going to be talking about the upcoming epic natural disasters update. Plus, stay tuned because we do some awesome testing with an air raid bunker, including tsunami bunker survival, and we let a massive bombing run hit this bunker, and we're going to see if we can survive, because ultimately this is going to be testing for the new DLC when it comes out. So if you guys are excited for some more Stormworks, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, so here we are for the news about the Natural Disasters major update. So this is coming the 3rd of February, and folks, I am so excited for this. This is going to be cool. So yeah, we're going to ask the question, what is in the Natural Disasters major update? So players have asked for hurricanes, volcanoes, meteor strikes, whirlpools, improved tsunamis, and rogue waves which I'm really excited about that last one, especially when you're in like a big storm or something. So these events will be spawnable via the creative menu, as well as some of them occurring naturally, which is pretty cool. So the first one you're seeing here is the uh, the volcanoes. It said volcano eruptions can occur at specific locations within the world of Stormworks. We look carefully at the different types of real eruptions because we want to create convincing and authentic volcanic events. So yeah, you're getting like a little feel for what it's going to look like. You can see like the active volcanoes, the lava coming down, explosions, uh, the big cloud of uh, all the debris coming down and ash. That is really, really cool. So for our next one's actually pretty exciting. I I'd actually like to see a lot of the weather radars and the creations actually pick these up, but it's hurricanes. So it says high winds can now result in twisters. These powerful wind events involve a vortex of rotating wind energy to descend from the sky. So it looks like there's also like an option for it to be a water spout or debris. So I'm assuming they will form over land too, which is really cool. So uh, like what we're checking out here in a bit, we'll have a bunker. I'm kind of curious where the creations are going to go. I think we're going to see a lot of bunkers here, and I'm really excited for that. Maybe we'll have to bring the tsunami bunker back out. But yeah, it says uh, the first signs of that a twister may form is being the clouds forming a spiraling vortex. Uh, so yeah, you actually see maybe like a wall cloud and see it spinning up. That is a, a really cool one. So here's what I didn't expect. Meteors. I wasn't thinking this was going to be one of them, but yeah, as you can see, it looks like missiles raining down from the sky and exploding everywhere. Uh, still really cool. Uh, I don't know how much I would interact with this one. I'm kind of curious. Uh, does it just form around the player and does it catch stuff on fire, say like the forest and stuff in the background? Uh, I'm kind of curious about that one. But there is one neat feature about this one. So it says if a particularly large meteor hits the ocean, it can result in a tsunami, which I'm excited for that. That's kind of cool. So next we have another one that I wasn't quite expecting. It's a whirlpool. So it's a uh, huge vortices can form in the ocean. It says where adjacent currents can feed energy into the rotating body of water so another thing that i really want to point out here is the whole fact it says the whirlpools are kilometers across like that's big <laughs> I, I would like to see like a big cruise ship or something get eaten by one of those so yeah there's a lot of possibilities for like missions uh multiplayer and even like sinking ship survivals with this one so yeah, they don't have any uh, pictures or anything about the new and improved tsunamis. I'm kind of curious what they mean by that. Can you maybe adjust how big they are? Uh, but yeah, there's a pretty good bit of information here. Now, the only thing that I'm kind of curious about, how are they going to implement these with the missions? It says they're going to impact the mission systems, which we really haven't done missions in a long time because honestly, that's one of the probably more weaker points for me when I play the game. Are some of the missions uh, I don't quite have as much fun with those because a lot of them are like hey go to point a pick up this person or uh, maybe go find the sinking ship I don't really know how they can uh, improve on that but maybe this will bring a little bit of life into those for me so that's all cool but we're gonna do some testing ourselves uh, with a bunker and see if maybe this thing would be prepped and ready to go for the new update all right so we're gonna do a couple little tests here so we've got an air raid bunker right here so let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what's in it uh do we think this is actually gonna protect us i think it actually has a chance so i'm gonna try two different things i'm hoping the in jersey what the what kind of air raid bunker is this uh am i supposed to just stand here or is it is there actually like an underground location and area for this wait why did this load in like that so this is actually legit underground. Can I push myself into here so I can use the... Oh. What the heck? 
Okay, well, that's actually kind of odd. Uh, so we're below the map. This is legit below uh, the whole thing here. So yeah, I totally thought maybe this was gonna be built into the side of the hill so we can close this. This is how you lock the door. So one thing I really wish Stormworks had, so say if a tsunami, well actually if a, is that peanut? So no, that's weird. So yeah, if a tsunami were to actually hit, would it actually flood this? That's a good question. So if a building's on the surface, the water goes through it. So I guess maybe we should survive that first. Also, this is just really neat. So we have an eat food button. What is, what does that mean? Okay, what's this down here? So we have air pumps, main power. There's a secret. Find the key first. Wait, there's a secret in the bunker? Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's the key at? Now they got me curious. Is that, there's a key. Okay, so we'll activate that here in a second. So say we're locked down. I don't know, the sirens are sounding. Uh, stuff's picking up outside. What's gonna happen here? Now, there's a chance I left the bunker door open. Uh, I closed the other one though, so it's still technically sealed. So yeah, here's the question. Is water gonna get in here? I still think it's going to. Now the other thing I'm curious about is the uh, the whole bombing raid. Like would it actually protect against that? Uh, I'm thinking of stuff like maybe that even we can do and build because all those natural disasters coming up, man, there's gonna be a lot of tough stuff to survive against. Okay, here it goes. It's lifting up something over there. What is that? Uh, it's like a bunch of barrels and stuff. Oh, that looks terrible. Uh, are we going to die in our bunker? There's a chance we might. We'll go under as soon as it gets here. Uh, we'll see if the water's getting in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. And uh, here it comes. Is it going to come through or being under the map? Are we actually protected? Wait. Wait, it's totally above us right now. This is the first time we've dealt with an actual sealed off bunker and it's the whole fact that it's taken advantage of the map. That's cool. So this is like one of the first like legit working tsunami bunkers. You could go underground and completely dodge it. So this should work for other disasters too. I like this. I uh, said so we, we got to do the key real quick. W what is going on here? Okay, starting the key. Okay, the key's activated. Uh, should I be afraid of what's going to happen here? Secret, find the key first. I, I did the key, didn't I? Oh, hold on. Let's start the key again. It's just a really long start button. Okay, the key's on, and... What's the... What's the secret? Was the secret that I get to click a secret button? Uh... Something happening? Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed about the secret here because I don't feel like the secret did anything. Also, that totally looks like kind of like an SCP symbol. Uh, you might want to check into the company that built this. Well, that was an odd one. Well, the question is, can it survive the next thing? Okay, so I've set up the in Jersey bombing runs. Uh, I'm hoping they're still working. Hold on, let's check in here. So, is this still the same? Okay, so yeah, you have to glitch through the ground, but this still nonetheless works uh this is a good idea plus i want to try these uh, also with this mod or this add-on these are at other major uh structures or major points on the uh, map i think terminal spy cakes has one of these i'm assuming they're the same but yeah this isn't the only one here at the fisher village or the fishing village so we need to calculate exactly where we are and uh let's go ahead and do that via map here there's our bunker so we are i'm gonna copy the coordinates down there and i'm gonna enter those and we're gonna see if the bombing rate actually uh affects the bunker okay here we go bomb uh it's coming uh oh hon we gotta see where this is gonna land oh that is basically on top of us all right we need to get down to the bunker let's go ahead and close that uh we need to close this one on we gotta get to the ladder might have to no clip through here real quick. That way we make sure we make it out of this. Okay, there's that. Close that door. Okay, that is sealed off. Okay, open this. Oh, uh, buddy. All right, so we're going to set here for the first time. And we'll spawn one more in and we'll watch it the next time. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Hold on, let's get our power on. Uh, main power's on. Air pumps are on. Okay, actually, there's air pumps. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm excited. I'm waiting for the explosions, though. Pretty sure the plane is overhead. Are we going to be able to survive this? 
I don't know if that impact force is gonna go through the ground. Waiting for it. Oh! Oh, you can hear him going off! Uh... How close was that? That was totally the explosions, right? Uh... Is it safe? Open this up. Okay, let's go ahead and go up. You can see where the flare landed. So yeah, you can get out of the bunker easy. Oh! <gasps> Did these go off? You know what? There's a chance that the weapons DLC might not have set these off. Those landed right on top. I didn't, I noticed I didn't hear the explosion, but you can see the bombs. They're littered all over the place. Okay, I gotta reset that. Holy man, that was kind of shocking to see when I opened up the door and the bomb is just sitting right there. Okay, can't confirm, flare is coming. Okay, so we got it activated this time. Let's go ahead and get into here. Uh, we're just gonna no clip down into the bunker. There we go. And let's go ahead and close the door. Oh boy. Okay, so it's definitely coming this time. Uh, air pumps on, there's that. Let's go ahead and get the light. Actually, we probably don't need the heater. I feel like there's gonna be enough heat here in just a second. Okay, so now we wait. So they should explode this time. I think I disabled it last time. So I don't think the warheads uh, were gonna work. At least I think that's the way it's gonna work. I'm not really sure. Maybe it isn't gonna explode at all. <laughs> okay, we definitely had a little life taken on off us there. We survived the blast. What the? Hold on. Can we emerge? Is something on fire? Uh, the doors look like they're still functional. Oh, it definitely hit the bunker. Look at the damage here. Dude. That is so cool. We survived. So yeah, there's the damage on the bunker. So this is definitely a very possible uh, working concept, especially the underground glitch through the map. Now I would kind of understand, like if you were to do this above ground, you would definitely have to have a bunch of layers to hopefully not get the uh, bunker penetrated by the bombs. So in theory, this thing would work against maybe a tornado striking it. Uh, you won't get hit by any debris. I don't know how the physics are going to work as far as the, if the tornado is going to try to pick you up and lift you out. Uh, there's a lot of questions here, but I've got some ideas. I'm excited for the DLC and hopefully you guys are too. And you know what? We'll see you guys next time.